Hello my viewers, in this video lecture we are going to discuss the third part or the last part of the design example of T-beam garter bridge. So this is the design problem for the RCC T-beam garter bridge. So for this design problem already we have covered the design of deck slab or the slab panel as well as the design of longitudinal garter in the last two videos already available in the YouTube and in this video lecture we are going to cover the design of cross garter so let's start the design for the design of the cross first of all we have to calculate the required bending moment and the shear forces in cross garter First of all, we will note down the self weight of the cross garter which is 10.5 kN per meter which is already calculated in the last video. Now referring to the figure number 9, so this is the figure number 9 which is for loads on cross garter. So if you see these two are the cross garters. For the cross garters the load will come from the deck slab and the load dispersion angle is 45 degree which is shown in the figure so if you consider this cross garter so what will be the dead load comes from the slab to the cross garter so it will be the area of one triangle which will be half into 1.25 into 2.5 this is the area of one triangle and the load intensity which is already calculated is 6.73 this is the area of the one triangle and the load intensity is 6.76 and again the the cross guard has to carry the load from the two slab panel from the both side so means we have two triangles so that's why the area of the triangle is multiplied by two and again I am telling this is the load intensity so finally the total load coming to one cross guarder is 21.125 so if you convert this load to the uniformly distributed load it will be 8.45 kN per meter just this total load divided by the span of the cross garter so this is the span of the cross garter Now the total UDL acting on the cross garter one is its self weight which is 10.5 and the next one is coming from the deck slab. So finally the total UDL acting on the garter is 18.95 kN per meter. Now if you see here I have shown the UDL acting on the cross garter. So along the transverse direction of the bridge there are two cross garter. So total uh, span of the cross garter will be 5 meter combining these two cross garter and over the 5 meter span the 18.26 kN per meter load is acting. So if we assume that the total load acting over this 5 meter length is equally carried by the three numbers of cross garter. So the reaction on each cross garter will be this much. 18.95 into 5 will give us the total load acting over the span 5 meter and it will be divided by the number of the cross garter that is 3. So it will comes out as 
5.8 kN. Now we have to calculate the maximum live load bending moments in the cross garter. For this, we have to place the IRC class AA wheel vehicle, sorry, track vehicle, as shown in the figure 10. This is the figure 10 where the IRC class A track vehicle is placed symmetrically over the cross garters. Now, first of all, we have to calculate what is the reaction coming to the cross garters due to this wheel load. If you assume these two cross garters as a support and this is one span of a beam which is the span of the slab panel so if you draw in this way these two reactions are the two cross garters and this is the span of the slab panel the total span is 4 meter and if you consider one side of the cross garter this is the wheel load acting on the panel so this is if you see this is half or uh, this is 1.8 meter 1.8 meter and the CZ of this wheel load will be 0.9 meter means half of 1.8 Now, what is the total value of this UDL? For IRC class AA track vehicle, total load of the vehicle is 700 kN. Load for the each track is 350 kN. So, half of one track will be 175 kN. Now, if you calculate the reaction in this cross garter because this reaction will be the maximum because this garter is nearer to the load isn't it so it will be 175 ra into sorry uh, total load into which is the half of one wheel load means W into B by L B means the distance of this load means here the CZ of the load from the other support which will be 4 minus 4 minus 0.9 divided by the length is 4 meter this length 4 meter means W into B by L 175 into 4 minus 0.9 divided by 4 ok now if you see for each garter in this way the load is coming from both side so it will be 2 into 2 into 175 into 4 minus 0.9 by 4 means this will be multiplied by 2 as for a single cross garter load is coming from the both side so finally it will be 271.25 kN this is the load acting on the cross garter means this is the reaction developed in the cross garter due to the live load ok now in this way if you draw the forces in a line diagram in this way the we can show the forces and the reactions 
in the cross garter in the cross section so this 271 271 are to the are two point loads acting on the cross garter now if you assume that this whole system is a rigid system and the total load which is 271.25 into 2 is acting on the cross garter is equally distributed by all three garters then the reaction coming to all three garters will be equal means if all three garters share the load equally as we have assumed the cross garter is a cross garters are rigid so it will be 2 into 271.25 divided by 3 which is the number of garter and it will be comes out as 180 means at a b as well as at c the support reactions are 180.83 so if you calculate the maximum bending moment for this load system definitely the bending moment will be maximum just below the support so which will be reaction into this distance so it is 180.83 and from the edge of the cross girder to the center line of the load this distance is 1.475 so it will be comes out as 266.72 kN meter this is the maximum bending moment in the cross girder under this load now if you consider the impact factor it will be comes out as 293.39 kN meter now at this position means at the position of 1.475 meter if you calculate the dead load which is acting in the form of UDL so it will be comes out as 25.97 because we will calculate the dead load and the live load at the same position and then we will sum up to get the maximum moment. So that's why we have calculated the dead load bending moment also at the same position of the live load maximum live load bending moment. So it is comes out as 25.97 as a distance of 1.475 meter from the support so finally the design bending moments will be 293.39 plus 25.97 equal 319.36 kilo newton meter sorry it is not per meter it will be kilo newton it should be kilo newton meter now the shear force due to dead load so shear force due to dead load will be the support reaction will be the support reaction this is the support reaction on on each cross garter because the shear force become maximum near the support so it will be 31.85 and then the shear force due to live load including impact here also shear force means the support reaction in the cross garter which is 180.83 and it will multiply it by the impact factor which is 1.1 and it will comes out as 198.91 so total design shear force is 230.76 kN combining both dead load shear force and live load shear force. Now we have to design the section for the cross garter. 
so here i have written the maximum design moment and the maximum shear force corresponding to which we have to design the cross section first of all we will assume the effective depth for the cross gutter as 1520 mm so if we calculate the area of reinforcement required so it will comes out as 11.64.66 mm square now using the 20 tor bars for the section number of bars required will be comes out as 4 therefore provided 4 numbers of 20 tor HYSD bars as main reinforcement next we we'll, we have calculated the nominal shear stress tau equal to V by BD and this comes out as 0 0.506 Newton per mm square. From the table 12A of IRC 21 for M25 grade of concrete, tau max is 1.9 Newton per mm square. So this is the table. So for M25 it is 1.9, which is tau max. So tau max is greater than tau, or the tau is less than tau max. Hence safe according to the clause 304.7.1.2 now using two legged tentor bars as vertical stirrup so we have calculated the spacing required it has comes out as 206 mm so therefore we have provided two legged tentor bars at the rate of 150 mm center to center as vertical stirrup throughout the length of the cross garden so these are all about the design of cross garden for bending moment as well as for the shear force as this is the last part of the design for the t-beam garden breeze so I have shown the detailed reinforcement of the cross section of the deck slab and the longitudinal section of the main and cross garter. See this is the cross section of the T-beam and the deck slab. And this is the reinforcement details of the longitudinal and cross garter. So all these detailings are provided according to the overall design covering the all three parts part, part one part two and part three so if you see all these three videos then you can easily understand how we have designed the t-beam garter bridges and finally we have provided the detailing of the reinforcement so thanks for watching my video if you like my video Please share and subscribe my channel.